This week on Fort Field News, FLC's own Sofia Gomez Villafane has placed in the top 20 at UCI Cyclocross World Championships. Ogie Kennedy, head coach for FLC men's soccer, has stepped down after accepting a coaching position for Stanford. And with Valentine's Day just around the corner, stay tuned to see what your fellow students are wanting from their significant others. I'm Lindley Gallegos. And I'm Deanna Atkins. While Fort Lewis College has been nationally recognized for our cycling program, we are now internationally acclaimed thanks to Sofia Gomez Villafane. Villafane, a senior here at FLC, has just returned from the UCI Cyclocross National Championships in Houston, Zolder, Belgium, where she placed in the top 20. I met with Sophia to discuss this major achievement. So, hi Sophia, we're happy to talk to you again. Um, you just competed in the Cyclocross World Championship, so what can you tell me about your experience? Um, it was definitely very exciting. I had never planned on going to the World Championships this year, um, and it was really exciting because it was the first year ever that they have had a U23 category for girls, which means normally all the girls will be racing elites, just one big category, and this year they had a new race and it was for girls age 18 and 22 so that was we kind of made history that weekend so it was really exciting well congratulations what did the event mean to you um it was definitely a huge accomplishment i mean this year i'm definitely more determined to pursue my cycling career a little bit more and i had been working with a coach for the past two months and you know having a good ride at nationals was huge but you know being able to go to worlds was definitely something i didn't think could be possible this year so I was really excited that I was able to accomplish that. Talk to her, what can you tell me about competing at that level of intensity? She expressed to me that it was one of the hardest competitions she has ever had to do both physically and mentally so she really had to step up to the plate for this and she did an amazing job. She did, she did a good job representing Fort Lewis and our cycling team so we're really proud of her. Ogie Kennedy, FLC's men's head soccer coach, has resigned after accepting an offer from Stanford University as assistant coach, where he will join former FLC head coach Jeremy Gunn, who led Stanford to win the national championship last season. In seven seasons here at Fort Lewis, Kennedy has led the team to win two NCAA Division II national championships, two Rocky Mountain Athletic regular season titles, and two RMAC postseason crowns. Oh, I'm really going to miss him. The games have been so fun, and the intensity of Fort Lewis soccer has been just next level. I know, I mean, who is gonna fill these shoes? I mean, that is such an accomplishment, to, you know, yeah. leave Fort Lewis with that legacy behind. And that's the big question, who is gonna fill those shoes? We are um, conducting interviews February 15th for that position, and we're really hoping to get a new coach in here by the end of the semester. Yeah, we'll definitely see who we get, but we also wish Ogie luck in his future endeavors. Valentine's Day is almost here, and you know what that means. So I think uh, women want flowers, chocolates, and make sure you go get some STD testing this year. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Take advantage. Fort Lewis offers discounted STD testing, so that's definitely something worth looking into this time of year. Um, and as women, I feel like we always say we don't want something for Valentine's Day, but... We do. We want flowers. We, we want definitely do. Something, something sweet. <laughs> Something nice. Something sweet. What is the ideal Valentine's date for Fort Lewis students? Let's see what Gabby found out. Love is in the air here on campus. Let's go find out what students have on their minds for this upcoming holiday. So what's your ideal Durango date? Uh, my ideal Durango date would probably be to go up to Viacito and take uh, probably a fired up pizza out there and just have a picnic by the lake. Where would you take your date for Valentine's Day? Um, I'd probably take her out to dinner, uh, probably to like Seasons or another nice restaurant down, down on Durango. Um, my boyfriend is going to take me to El Moro because it's my favorite restaurant in town. <laughs> my ideal date for Durango would be take out a girl for a picnic by the lake, watch the sunset, enjoy the environment, be out with nature. We end this week's segment with our sport report. This is Catch a Play with Christian, where I, Christian Backrote, catch you up on FLC's sports news. The men and women's basketball teams were away this past weekend, playing South Dakota School of Mines on Friday and Black Hill State on Saturday. The Lady Skyhawks won Friday, beating South Dakota 75-69 in double overtime. On Saturday, they lost a close one to Black Hill State, 71-74. They are now 13-9 overall and 9-8 in RMAC play. The men's team won in overtime Friday, beating South Dakota 84-73. Rasmus Bach and Joshua Blaylock both recorded career highs in points. 
The team recorded their seventh straight win on Saturday, beating Black Hills State 80-73. to The Skyhawks are off to their best start in school history, holding a 19-3 record. The team also moved up five spots in the Division II coaches poll to number 10 in the country. Both teams return home this weekend to play Western State University on Friday and Colorado State Pueblo on Saturday. Way to go, Skyhawks. In between games on Friday, Fort Lewis will honor longtime men's basketball coach Bob Hoffman, naming the court in Whalum Gymnasium after him. This has been Catch a Play with Christian. See you next time. Thank you, Christian. For all your campus sports and community news, be sure to check out the big yellow boxes on campus. And until next time, see, see you on campus. campus.